All right. Today, I'm at a very special person's house Aww. who I love and love her art. This is Meg Harper. And Meg has been with uh, the gallery for right almost two years now. Oh, yes. I think you're hitting two years this year. Yay! Yes! I know, I love that. Probably one of the most fun, jovial artists in the gallery. Her work is up, up here behind us a little bit. We'll go into her studio and look at some stuff in a little bit. But uh, first, I'm going to interrogate you and find out mm, exactly how you started your life in this crazy business we call art. Mm. So tell me a bit about, look, give me a little background. Look, how'd you do all this? Um, I think I've always been a crafty person. My mom was very encouraging. Um, one of my favorite things to do when I was little is doodle art. Everybody's done some doodle art. I bet. Doodle art. So it was this big printout that had black and white outlines of like a underwater scene or a jungle right. scene, and you magic markered it Color in. Me. Yes. 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 Do I've, done, I've done a couple of those okay. myself. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. So I loved those. That was like you know the big thing probably. I didn't really know how much I loved art till I was a sophomore in college and took an art class just on a whim. I had no idea what I was gonna. Be. I went to school to be an archaeologist. Wow. Wow. That's a total different... Uh... I know, and I fell asleep in class. <laughs> I think it was um, when um, um, Indiana Jones was big, so I sure. thought it was going to be super sexy like that, and it, it was not. I, I Yeah. I can't anyway. tell which is sexy, art, art or archaeology. <laughs> I mean, it's, probably, it's kind of on the same level, you know. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I took one art class and I loved it and it came easy and the professor was very encouraging and I thought, wow. So are you an Arizona native? I mean, have you always been I'm here? from upstate New York. You're from upstate New York. Wow. So upstate that's New where I went to college. Okay. At a state university in New York. Wow. So what brought you to Arizona? I had a sister who moved out when I was a sophomore in college and I came out to visit her in July. Is that Cindy? Barb. Barb. Okay, you have another sister. I yeah. Okay. Yep. And uh, I fell in love with the West. I had never been west of Buffalo, and I loved Arizona, even though it was really hot. Yeah. And I, after that summer, I was here for three weeks, maybe. Wow. I decided I was going to move back. So what year was that that you came out then? I graduated, uh, 88. 88, okay. Yeah. From college. Yep. Okay. So in college, did you pursue the art thing yes. even more than the yes. archaeology, obviously? Yes. Got my degree in art. Okay. As yeah. a painter? Or? As a painter. Wow. So when did the real, like, Meg Harper style kind of start? How did you um, get into this particular look? Because, I mean, everything is so bright and, and colorful. Like, who are maybe some of your influences that right. brought you to that look? So I, when I came here, I went into the ad business. I didn't even do full-time art wow. for a long time, till my 40s. Um, so when I moved here, I worked for an ad agency um, and did everything from graphic design to when I quit, I was um, a partner. Hmm. So I learned so much about design and systems and communication and sales and just so much. And I quit at the top of my game and said, I'm going to figure this out. So that was in 2003. And then in like 2000, I took some time. And then in 2008 is when it all started. Kind of culminated. Yeah. And, really and I did rocking. my first show. And um, Where was that at? Um, it was the Audubon show. Here down here? Yeah. Huh. A cattle track. Wow. And then I went and I did that three month show with um, Expo with uh, the um, Thunderbird people. Hmm. So my first real show was the big three month in the tent dealio. Wow. And I learned a lot and I, I did the corrugated tin stuff and I did regular um, canvas. And that was my first entree to use in reclaimed stuff and the reclaimed stuff just stuck with you. Yeah, and it made oh, my cool. heart sing, and I, people loved the color, it made them happy. Sure. And so I just kept pushing color and pushing color and pushing color. I got addicted to just being able to transform someone's mood. Sure. I loved giving joy to people. Yeah, well, and your work does. I mean, I in the gallery, that's one of the things people hone in on the most, is the, the character and the, you know, you can just feel the, the images bouncing off of the 
you know, canvas or whatever you're you're doing things in, you know, the reproductions and I mean all of it. People just love this kind of almost a Santa Fe esque and co esque <laughs> feel to the work. I mean cool. I, I don't know. I've always enjoyed uh, the work and the way I met you was even funnier in yeah. my opinion was uh it was probably, I think it was FIP in a 2017 mm -hmm. in Prescott, mm -hmm. and I set up next to you for Quick Draw, yeah. and that was my first introduction to you. Yep. And here you are whipping out this great Raven piece and <laughs> an hour and laughing and having a great time, and and then I uh, went and saw your booth and wanted the work, and it took us another year to get to that point, but uh, yeah, sure glad to have it. Yeah, exactly. So I was going to say, you asked me who my influences were. Yes, yes. Um, you're gonna laugh, but uh, Dr. Seuss for sure. Um, Jim Henson, absolutely. Wow. Um, yeah, kids. Like I, I love kids movies about kids. I love books about kids. I love creativity and just people who create a whole nother world. Have you ever done? Have you ever thought of doing books? I mean, people ask yes, me that Yes, I'm a doing lot. one right now. Are you really? Yeah. No doubt. So on just an overall kind of uh, portfolio of yours, or just the... Somebody asked me who wrote a book, a children's book, to... To illustrate it? Yeah. Oh, how cool. Yeah. Can we hear a sneak peek? What's it about? I mean... Oh, <laughs> oh, it's, um, it's, uh, it, uh, is about a little girl who's probably like 10, and she and her dog, um, are from a place where there's no trash whatsoever and everybody's really great about things and they hear about this island that is just covered in trash and they enlist the help of um, these imaginary creatures and they figure out collectively how to clean, clean up, up the island. island. How cool. Yeah. Neat. Now is that something you're going to also be offering uh, yourself to customers or is it something Oh sure, that... yeah. I'll be selling all the originals of the pages for okay. sure and prints of the pages and then um, yeah, sell the books too off How the website. Cool. Yeah. Well, hopefully maybe we'll get a couple of those. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And she's wrote three books so I'm working on just the first one right now. So there's two more that also deal with you know important issues that I'm very fond of um, which is just healing the earth kind of stuff. Sure. Very passionate, awesome. very passionate about that. Which is very good. Very passionate. <laughs> In other words, she's very passionate. So. <laughs> to paraphrase. Yes. So obviously, the craziness at the start of the year kind of took the toll on some of our shows. And, yes. Um, we're kind of getting back into the swing of things. Of course, in the gallery, we're rocking right out of the gate. It's been pretty awesome. People love your work. We got a new website that's coming. That's good. <laughs> finally showcase a lot of your works and you'll be able to get things in paper mm -hmm. and paper and uh, some of the, the corrugated tin pieces like up in here and over on the sides. Now those are reproductions that are printed on tile. It's a sublimated product like I do with my tiles. I know those are made for inside or outside? Outside or inside, yep. Yeah. Either one UV protected with a medium used on outdoor murals. So really Very can cool. get full suns. Uh, they lasted nine years now. Really? Yeah. Even at your house just out here and stuff? Yeah, that How years. cool. Yeah. Yeah, which is really rare. You know, you don't find many people whose art you you can put inside or outside, especially in a 2D manner. Yeah. So to me, I think that sets you apart from a lot of people. It's very, very unique. Yeah. Um, what do you have upcoming? You got any, and we've talked about a couple of the shows. You're going to go on to Colorado and yeah, you're try and get summer. back into that. Is that yeah. where you usually go? You go to Colorado yeah. every year? Yeah. What part? Um, we do shows everywhere from, gosh, Ridgeway to Estes Park to Breckenridge to, um, um where else, Sunnyvale, um. It's so really, it's the whole state. Really yeah, we're all over the place. View. Crested View. Oh, cool. Great. Yeah. Well, we definitely uh, want to reschedule. You know, you were supposed to do a painting demo in yes. April, and because of all this stuff being closed down, we definitely want to get you in and, and do a painting demo at some point, hopefully this year. If not, we'll definitely reschedule for this yeah. following year. Yeah, yeah, no. um, But I think we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna peek in your studio and just okay. kind of get an idea of your setup and maybe talk about a couple of the pieces sure. and, and just see what you do. Yeah. And uh, we will be right back. So I'm, I'm in Meg's studio. I'm just going to kind of do a little pano because yeah. she's got so much stuff in here. It's so cool. 
I mean, obviously she does a lot of production stuff with her tiles. She's got an easel set up. When you get over in here, these are all the accoutrement that goes on purses and on some of the wall plaques and yep. her files for all of her paper prints. She's much more organized than I am <laughs> and that I could ever wish to be. My fiance is doing a very good job in getting me there, but it takes a while. And uh, this is a, is this a commission you're working on right now? Or yeah. is this just a fun piece for so you? So a lot of people hire me to paint their animals. And this is an example of one that I actually did a, wor a virtual workshop with someone who was painting the exact same thing and they wanted me to paint the same time they were painting. How cool. <laughs> so yeah, so this was a dog that she was painting. Um, but yeah, I do this sort of thing all the time. And what is your medium? Um, I'm using acrylic paint. Acrylic? I buy mostly house paint. So instead of using the whole gallon, I put things in smaller containers, but yeah. I just use house paint. How cool. Then I can come in with a swatch and say, make me this color and I'll have a whole lot of it. I would have never thought to use house paint because obviously it is an acrylic base. Yeah. Huh? Genius. And very durable. Yeah. And no VOC. Now none of it has any VOC in it. What? Like what? from Home What's Depot. VOC? Um, VOC is um, just the toxic stuff that happens when paint is drying. I see. Um, and they've just figured out how to take it out. Huh. Yeah. Amazing. So on little pieces like this, what's your, how much time do you end up spending on a piece to complete it from start to finish? Um, you, something you... like this, maybe like four hours. Nice. Maybe four hours. Yeah, Meg does do really great commissions. We've had her do uh, a couple for the gallery and everybody that's gotten them just loves them. And if you do have an animal or uh, a, a particular- A grandbaby yeah. or- um, I've never seen you do people. Yes. Really? Yes. Man, there's a whole layer of Meg Harper we are discovering today. Huh, yeah, I'm gonna well, have to see those. one of my last commissions was um, uh, a horse and its owner, a woman. How cool. Yeah. I thought you were pretty strictly animal and maybe some landscape stuff. Yeah. Awesome. A woman yeah. that can pull everything off <laughs> even better. Cool. Uh, anything you want to show us in here? Tell us about while we're here. I think you got most the, the of jest. It. This used to be there my I living am. room and dining room. <laughs> I think that's noteworthy. Well, I'll tell you what. My table in my house looks exactly like this, but it's stacked up with prints and oh, original uh, originals I haven't finished and oh, all that good stuff. One of them. The purses, I think that that's cool to oh, show. Oh, very cool. That's So now one. with the boxes that are really small, we're just making them into treasure boxes instead. Oh, of, sweet. Instead of making them into purses. So, yeah. I just love all your stuff. You're so creative. And uh, thanks a ton for taking time to show me around your studio and, you are so and talk with me a little welcome. bit. Uh, anybody who's looking to get Meg's work, jump on my website, ianrussellart.com. Get a hold of us, Facebook, website, Instagram. This will be posted to our YouTube channel. And uh, thanks again, Meg. We will see you hopefully soon and uh, wish you the best. And Thank you. And kick some major ass so up in Colorado. Yeah, baby. All right. Thanks, Meg. Thank you. Bye.